going on chickies it's baron here watch this video all the way to the end before we get into it don't forget if you want to get a toby eye tracker 5 i have a discount code down in the description with a link to the website i've also got a organization for star citizen i've also got a referral code that you can use if you're not a part of the community but before we get into it i hope you do enjoy this video watch it all the way through because today we're going to be talking about what made you choose your fleet yes so we're doing a lot of ship content lately because it's pretty much the foundation of my channel for star citizen i will be doing a lot more stuff let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see on the channel i'm yet to get around to doing videos space jesus because we've been i've been very busy and yeah but we're gonna get into it now so why did you choose the fleet that you chose more importantly why why did you choose it what made you come to that decision of choosing your fleet? I'm going to let you know mine. So obviously I'm going to have a lot of ships in my fleet. I'm going to have a Nautilus, Perseus, Polaris, <laughs> Idris, uh, Endeavor, Merchantman, Carrick, Corsair. I'm going to have a Reclaimer. I'm going to have an MSR and Crucible, possibly a Vulcan. Now I know I say don't buy small ships. There's a lot of other ships in there like a Scorpius and... Ion, Inferno, Redeemer at the moment, and a Medivac. So I like to like have various ships in my fleet to do different things, to have different professions, because it just seems to make sense to have different professions in the game, because you can pretty much do anything. And yes, you can become a hauler and do as you please in the game. But I really just want to try and focus on that Endeavor game role with the Crucible, the Reclaimer, and the Merchantman. It just seems to make a little bit of sense to me. I know it doesn't with a lot of other people, but there's a lot of different game functions out there and different game styles that you can do. I know I'm going to be participating in escorting and security services as well, since you'll be able to say all that on the Merchantman. Now, I could go with some other ships. I'm looking at a Javelin as well when I come time to be able to afford one of those. Get a channel membership. I'm joking. That all goes towards the channel. So, you might want to start off when you first get into the game, have a small mining vessel like the Prospector, a Rock, Rock DS, Mole, it's up to you, or the hauling ship like the Merchant Man or a Hull, Caterpillar, Carrick, you know, I love the Carrick, you guys know that, it's a great ship. Um, but yes, you just, you really want to think about what you're going to be doing with your fleet, how you're going to be working it, what you're going to need to get that fleet up in the air, because I know with the Endeavour, that's going to need a few ships like the Nautilus, Perseus, Polaris, some other ships, maybe a Kraken, to escort it and watch over it to make sure it doesn't get shot or destroyed. Now saying that, you could do as you do now and jump between moons and then stop in the middle somewhere where you don't have a comma on you and do as you please. We might be able to do that, we don't know. But to get the logistics correct for that, it's going to take a little while. It's not going to be something that we can just do overnight. It's going to be something that we can have to think about, um, plan, obviously, with a lot of these fleets, you're going to need a lot of people, uh, especially if you've got like a Polaris, Perseus, Nautilus, um, and an Endeavor. Obviously, the Endeavor is going to need a lot of people. Now, I think that NPCs are going to be able to do a lot of the blading and the NPC work of turrets. I also think they're going to be intelligible and intelligent enough to be able to do more functional roles, let's say, on the Endeavour. I might be wrong, I might be right, we're not too sure what's going to happen in the future, but I feel that they will be able to do a lot of different things and a lot of different functions within the verse itself. Let me know down in the comments, I just want, I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on this. So again you have different game loops i don't know what your game loop is going to be let me know i know that salvaging is going to be a big one mining hauling um, security services doing bounties obviously security services is always going to be something that people are going to need when the verse comes to being released because it's just inevitable we're just going to need that sort of protection now to have an idris or an idris pm okay it's all up to you but you just need to have that protection there at the end of the day because we know that if you don't have that protection well then you might fail and you might even fail with having the ships that you want but you're better knowing that you're happy and protected and hopefully nothing goes wrong but there's always overheads there's always 
risks there's always a cost to something but the way you base your fleet around how you are going to do your work is the most important thing that you can do you might just get your like your bare frame of ships like just an endeavor or just a mining vessel but if you have an orion you're going to need a lot more than that if you have a hull d hull e you're seriously going to want more than that because you're going to be having you're going to have a lot of assets on board you're going to have a lot of like, product that you need moved and you don't want to lose because you're going to make a lot of money out of it like a lot of money so think about how you're going to do that and how you're going to get it there and have that plan all sort of because if you don't what's the point of being in your profession that's why it's called a profession because you're a professional in that particular part of the industry or that industry in general now you can hire people like myself and i'll be doing these services and getting people to crew those ships but we're a long way from that now you can do that in current game style and to just sort of enhance that immersion immersion i guess but it's not something that you really need to you know get down and get done because it's not really an urgency as of just yet but saying that we can start to do those sort of things in the game and sort of repair ourselves to build on top of what's coming in right now and we, obviously we're getting one, two of the whole series later on but it's pretty much an insight i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope it helped you realize um, what you're going to be doing later on down in the game because i know for me it gives you a little bit of an insight as to how you're going to work the game and how you're going to work your fleet but that does the video i want to thank our patrons and members fateless being in Lagardus, a12345 being in dominus and a real donald dump and Re Reynold rosenthal being in perfectus thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the verse